Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, giving you a space weather news update on Friday, September 29th, 11.20 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017. You're looking at Comet C 2017 K2, Pan Stars, which just lit up and is the talk of the town. Now, for those of you just joining us, we have a Facebook page set up now for Comet C 2017K2 Pan Stars. There'll be a link at the bottom to this. So you can follow the updates as this comet makes close approach uh, in 2022. I'll go over some details with you. Check out the news. If we come up here, it's a pretty good description. Thursday, September 28th, yesterday, 2017, a brand new comet has been spotted by the Hubble Space Telescope. And remarkably, even though it is still far enough away from the sun that its water ice would be as hard as rock, it's already showing signs of activity. <laughs> they still think that these comets are made of ice and that they're melting. I don't know where astrophysics has been for the last hundred years, but have they been following any of the breakthroughs in astrophysics, they would know that we live in an electric universe, and this is electrical activity in the form of plasma. And the reason that this just lit up at such a far distance, we'll get to that. Let me finish. That makes this new comet called C2017 K2 Pan Stars, or just K2 for short, the furthest active comet astronomers have ever seen at a distance of 1.5 billion miles from the sun, which is beyond the orbit of Saturn. It was discovered in May using the PANSTARS, which is the Hawaii's Panoramic Survey Telescope Rapid Response System. You'll get links to that in a description to what that is, because I like to give everyone the links where they can uh, research on themselves. Now, why is this there lighting up at such a far distance? I bet you have many of you in the community can answer that. This is directly related to the X flares that we just experienced here on Earth a few weeks ago. That energy is just reaching this part of the solar system as we speak yesterday and illuminated this object. The, re the same exact thing happened, and I documented this, when Comet Ison came in and there was during the solar maximum and there was massive activity on the star and we actually watched a CME eject from the star and cause Comet Ison to gain luminosity and still they thought it had to do with water. <laughs> it's hilarious. This is plasma discharge coming from an object with a different charge than our solar system as it races in and it's creating this plasma effect and it lit up to the astonishment of astrophysicists because we just experienced some of the strongest X flares in over a decade that shot energy into our solar system and illuminated this object. And I haven't heard one single person say that. That is a sad state of astrophysics, ladies and gentlemen. I already documented almost five years ago, I don't, or, or longer, Comet Ison having the same effect with space weather. So this object is illuminated because of the X flares that just came off the sun a few weeks ago, and we'll be watching it. So make sure you like our Facebook page uh, and follow the journey with us over the next few years. So what I also am going to include in the links here is the light curve prediction and also the trajectory, which shows here on December 22nd, 22, That'll probably be another doomsday. The object passing between Jupiter and Mars in our solar system. Or no, it looks actually Jupiter and Saturn. So it'll be closest approach on the 22nd of December in 2022, which means we're going to have a show before that and hopefully after that if this object does not break up when it hits uh, this perihelion here. So we have breaking news. In space weather and comet news, Comet C2017 K2 Pan Stars, K2 for short, is on its way towards Earth, towards our sun, and it'll be here in about five years. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Please like our new Facebook page to keep up on this comet and all the space weather that's affecting its luminosity. 
Don't let them confuse you. This is because of the X flares that came off the sun and we'll prove it moving forward in the next few years and watching our sun and what it and the effect it has on this comet. Thanks for watching. Be safe.